I can build a National College. I can buy a Pagoda. I'm going to just queue some stuff so I don't have to worry about it. Hit that. And then we're going to rush over here. I have 11 happiness and it looks like I'm actually in a golden age. I'm going to go over here. Oh man. Oh, oh man. So we're going to build a road this way. We're going to build a road that way. So then my cities are all linked up. I'm having some nice, decent gold. I can now do f big boy bowmans. We're going to get... So I clicked this one first because it constructs monuments, amphitheaters, opera houses, museums, and broadcasters 50% faster. And then any of the excess happiness that I have... I should have clicked this one first, but I just do this one because I like to do a boom, 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 boom. I also like to get this one first. Usually this gives me a great something or other. We're going to rush horseback riding. And at this point, we can't do anything because both of our workers are busy. So now I just wait for my science to do things. I'm already, all right. So I've shot up to 41. Ooh, I'm the busiest people by five points or whatever it is. Hmm. I can build the Colossus now. Colossus is good. Colossus gives us a free work, free thingy, a free uh, trade route. All right. Oh, hey, look. My son, I built the National College this turn. My sign shot up to 58. All right, so Colossus gives us a trade route. He gives us five gold, one culture, and merchant points. Uh, merchant points. So then that would add to our great people that we're, I was talking about earlier. But let us do a market so I can rush out some monies. All right, drama and poetry has been done. A trade route or my city connection has been done. Which one? This guy. Okay. So this one made my gold jump up to 12, which is good. We're going to build a work guy there, and that's going to jump me up. We're going to grab this. Get some extra culture turn. Honestly, I was I was looking, and we might we might actually just grow into the iron this guy, or I could possibly buy it this way. All right, so now that we have a city st uh, thing here, let's start improving this poor man, this Dublin. I know that I said that I should rush out cities, but at the moment, there's not much to rush out. I have my second great prophet now, and he gives us spread religion, which you can only do four times before he goes away, or enhance religion. I usually do use the second one to enhance, and, I get, and he goes away. Or you can put uh, make a holy site if you move him to an unoccupied space. Let's enhance. Um, I'm going to do extra food because we seem to be having issues. And I usually do this one because religion spreads 25% faster. So it's a faster spread. All right, we're at turn 57. We're going pretty slow. Let's rush education. I'm not saying like we're going slow. But I'm just saying like the game is moving a bit slower than I'm used to. That's also good in a way, so that I can show you. All right, we're going to use this guy to build the Colossus. We're going to build that, 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 that. Now, 447 gold. I would just buy the workshop. The workshops increase production, so we're going to rush that afterwards. We're going to make sure that you have that, 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 and this. Um, probably a good thing would be the 
Yeah, let's build the Great Lighthouse. Great Lighthouse makes my ships move uh, one turn, one uh, tile faster. And now Singapore wants my religion and wants a trade route. So if I do those things, I could be. So I probably should explain. Every city state will sometimes give you quests. It can be the trade route. It could be the uh, religion. It could be gold. You could donate more gold and it gives you more influence. Uh, there could be barbarian encampments nearby that they want you to kill. They could be under a war. There's a lot. So if I would click this, as you see, they want you to complete a land or sea trade route to their city and they want your religion. They're neutral. Every turn, every tu like you, if I do this, it would give me uh, influence with them. And then every turn, it slowly degrades, I believe, by a point or by five point. I can't remember. I could declare war on them. I could force them to give us something, which would be bad. I could, I already predicted them. I could give, here it is. So over time, the amount of influence earned from the gifts of gold goes down. Additionally, the more gold you give, the, the single gifts, the more influence and earn. So you want to make bigger, you want to throw down a bunch of money, or you can give them a gift of a unit, or you could have them, uh, you can give them gold and they'll actually uh, improve a resource like iron, coal, oil, aluminum, or aluminum, depending on where you're from. We can do that. All right, so my city's already connected, but I'm going to, let's see. I can't even go that far, interesting. I can't go that far either. Can I go up there? Nope. But I guess I can buy that tile just to make sure that no crazy bugger, I wanna buy this tile, so then they can't expand this way, so hopefully I can get that iron. And I have 14 gold again. Well, isn't that just lovely? Three things unnecessary. All right. What am I going to do here? Hmm. We're going to rush. It is. Oh, hey, look, we found Napoleon. Where is Napoleon? Ah, there they are. Ooh, I, I did it. Napoleon warriors are over there. Let us get culture. A golden age has dawned. Let's build this. Except embassy. Ooh, uh, Carthage. Where's Carthage? Oh, they're above us. So France is uh, down south, and I'm assuming Carthage is up here somewhere. That's good and bad. Oh, okay, so they're over there. So pretty much what I was doing is accept embassy is it reveals the location of your capitals. And then that's really it. I mean, there's other stuff that you can do. Like you could trade gold, you could trade resources, stuff like that. All right. So gains an additional trade route slot and cargo ship appears on the city. Trade routes that other players make to a city with the classes will give me extra two gold for the city owner and one gold for the trade route. So if I build trade routes with this city, I send them out. This trade route will give me extra monies. But I sent it to Singapore so I can complete one of their quests. What we're going to do is we're going to build this. And now they're happy with us. Quite happy. Wow, that gave us 85 influence. Well, that gave us 80 influence because those are already at 5. That's quite a bit. Stonehenge has been built. I built walls. Cardiff grew, Dublin grew. Alright. We're going to get some uh, food going in this poor city over here. Although this city will probably be mostly production based from the look of it. So it will need as much food as possible. Um, let's go with steel. I'm still upset that I don't have that uh, the iron in my land. But, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. Oh my gosh, this is a very slow game. Alright, pyramids are gone. 
Let's get some sheeples. So now, once around turn 100, which we're get, we're fast, you know, fast approaching. I'm not doing good. I only have 250 turns on this game, just so I can show you, you know. All right, so we have. I still can't upgrade you because you don't have anything. So this is where some crazy ideas come in. So pretty much once you get once you rush education, you unlock universities. And universities give you a shit ton of science. So what I'm going to do I'm going to make sure that all my all my cities are going to be researching are going to be doing universities. And the reason why I bought a workshop in there and not over here is because the food is so low over here that uh it needs as much production as possible to help, you know, spiral it out of control. Sorry, hit the microphone. Me and death perception are not uh, good friends, as you can see with my thick glasses that are reflecting the screen. And I have to have the screen super bright because uh, without it, I am blind. More blind than possible. Usually I have the, uh, the screen on max brightness. Just so I can even see, and sometimes I can't see. And now this is a great uh, artist. I can either make a great work, or I can go into a golden age. If I was playing normally, I'd be doing golden age. But since we need tourism, I made portrait of a young girl. Now we end turn. All right, good compass. Astrology. G. Let's do mint. Remember that. Uh, do this. All right. So now two of my cities have the universities. I'm making 91 science a turn. Look how fast that spiraled. And once this city goes, I should probably be making around 100 this term. Well, whenever it's done. Oh, I want to buy this tile. I want to buy that tile. I'll buy this tile. I'm going to get that tile. <laughs> I'm being greedy with my monies. Oh, the Liam of Halley Canasses. All right, so then we can get iron that naturally grew. That's nice. Do, 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 do. I'm no longer an ally of Singapore. As you saw, because I did 85 and it's gradually lowered and I didn't do anything else for it, it's back now down to 59. I'm no longer friends. Or, I'm no longer allies, I'm just friends. But if I were to give them money, which they're asking for a lot more now, they would, they would be friends with me again. But I blew all of my money. So I cannot do that. Alright, we are now in the Renaissance era. Ooh, my voice cracked like a... Alright, so now, what we're going to do... Is we're gonna build a mm, let's see Oxford so we can get more science. Let's build the Angkor Wat and the Writers Guild and National Epic. And I don't see anything else. So we unlock something called a spy. So there's three things that you can do with the spy. You can put the spy in your own city to stop it. For, it's counter spy, obviously. And you can put it into city-states where you can, um, you know, change elections to make them more favorable to you. Or you can put them in other civilizations. If you're going to put it into other civilizations, there's two things you can do. And that specific thing. You can do as a diplomat, diplomat, which would give you more culture over them. Or as an actual spy, which lets you steal gold and 
uh, tech. I believe gold. I cannot remember for sure. It's usually I put them in my own cities to counter spy because I tend to be really fast uh, science. But as you see, I'm already at 97 on turn 86. It's starting to go. And really, this is just your preference. Uh, if you're going to do it with uh, actual player, it helps them get more culture over you, and it also unlocks open traders, and uh, you could trade gold and stuff like that. But here, it really doesn't matter. Right. Now, what would be a good one here? I want... So, we can do commerce, which would get us extra gold. We can do exploration, which would give us more production, or we can do rationalism, which gives us more science. I usually do exploration before I do science, just because I like to get that extra production bonus. Now, unfortunately, we skipped over my uh, unique unit. Oh my god. They want me to give them 167 gold, 5 horses, and a gold. No. And they're just going to do that? Unacceptable. So now we're going to go into the ocean to explore, build a harbor, and build an armor. And I will wait till I research navigation before I build a Okay, I now have 99 science, which is good. And someone just entered the medieval era and we're in the renaissance era. So let us I mean, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get acoustics. Acoustics is good. Now let's start explore. Okay. There's a ice shelf. Now let's go over here. I need to start. Look at that. Look how that changed. Sure. You can have one of my golds. Let's build this. I'd like to get this other iron so that I can have at least six iron. Let us see what is over here. The Temple of Artemis, which is good for archers. And another prophet. So my city has it, my city has it. This city has it. So let us go say hello to uh, French, Le French, to see if they uh, want my religion. And then if they don't, give it to them anyway. Because that's, that's what you do in this game. Alright. I have broken the barrier. I'm 101 science now. It's turn 93. I have met my goal. A bit slower than I'd like to... I would like, but, you know... You, as long as the goal is met, it doesn't really matter. Now you're probably wondering why I'm just adding a whole bunch of stuff to the queue. Because usually that just lets you not have to worry about your city management. And the reason why I bought those mountains now is there's something called an observatory. And it gives you extra science for the mountains. It says 66, I mean uh, science is a 50% for the mountains. And since I just bought mountains, they are now all within the range. Oh, there's a something over here. Let's move my scout down south so I can see what is over here. Um, I don't really know what to do with this guy, so we're going to put him to sleep for now. Just kind of let this one guy do his thing. Ooh, there's a, there's a little thing over here. Hopefully I don't get barbed captured. Sure. I want to... Oh, hey, we got Aknor what? Culture and gold cost for acquiring new Kyles reduced by 25% every city, which is good. Which means that I can grow faster, naturally, and I can uh, buy tiles for cheaper. Which, considering I just spent like 200 gold for these two tiles, probably would have been better waiting, but eh. 
Now this is where it's your preference. Open Borders lets them walk through your lands, but if they declare war on you, uh, their units get pushed out of your lands. So Open Borders usually means that they're trying to do something culture related. So I usually say no personally, but that's me. All right, so I am a, have less monies, but I also just bought a bunch of tiles, so. And then we're gonna rush over here. And then we're gonna get production in all coastal cities. And guess what? All three of my cities are coastal. So, you know. Super genius. I now can build frigates. Which I'm going to build in this city at some point. Where is my forgot? There it is. I would buy it, but I don't want to waste the gold. That's uh, not really important to me right now. Let us build the Circus Maxima, because that would give me extra happiness. 16 Chapel gives us a buttload of science. Uh, I mean, culture, not science. And then there's. I have a, a fish. Pearl, pearl, fish pearl. So I have, what, three pearls and two fish, so I need five votes. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let us do machinery. Machinery gets me cross a really nice crossbows. I am going to put you right there. Oh, well, it was just a squiggly line of a land. Let us go. Singapore. I usually trade with city-states, even if they give me the less amount of money, but that's just me personally. Let's go to Petty. Now, we're about to hit turn 100, and it's been about an hour recording, give or take. As you see, if you play on online speed, this game goes by really fast. Let's get chivalry. Uh, let's do this. Let's spread religion. I'll give you the great word of Taoism in your city, sir. Now, if this was a normal missionary, he would be slowly taking damage because you're not supposed to be in other people's nations, but since he's a great prophet, he can be in there as long as he wants without having to worry about dying suddenly. Now, where is your other cities? I'm going to get science for you. You, actually, I think with that, I no longer have anything to work. That's what it looks like. Because these haven't grown yet, so I'm going to sit here. And, um, let's wander. Oh, hey, I found a city state. Where the bloody hell is there? Sorry if I make that noise. I, I'm just used to making it. Your city must be around here. Oh, banking. Extra monies. Yes, good. Just to sleep until these grow or until something happens and I'm just gonna sit here because I could settle more cities but I have done a very poor exploration at least outside of my own lands until now unfortunately so we just kind of we just kind of deal so this one this is a great writer I can there get a bunch of culture or I can get a tourism thing. We're gonna go tourism. Because what I like to do is I like to have science and, and tourism going on in the background just in case. Oh, I found something called Songs of the South. Terracotta Army doubles all military units that you currently own, which is mildly concerning. All right. I built the Sistine Chapel, which gives me extra culture per turn and also lowers the culture cost of the cities. 
Are we good? Are you afraid of me? Interesting. All right. So I did their two cities. I only have one more charge left. I settled. I sent them to Prague. I am not giving you all those resources just to do a research agreement. Oh, okay. I have open borders. Did not know that. Probably should have read one of those deals. All right. So, uh, if you have a great, like, uh, a great artist or something, they can't go into other people's land. A great prophet can go into the other people's land without, uh, starting war. But if I were to do anything else, then I believe you have to be allies or friends with a great, like, if you're going to do a, a music band or whatever they're called. I, I don't remember the, the term, at least in this game. What we're going to do is we're going to rush over here. And we're going to skip this turn because there's a dude here. I've discovered the Rock of the Gibraltar, which is neat. Get some extra gold for the harbors. My trade route was plundered. Those meanie heads. Oh, okay. So there's, oops, we're going to spread to you. Now we have my religion spread all over the place. Ah, there it is. Open borders. Oh, hey. We're finally getting to that forgot. So frigate is one of the best military units at this point. Especially since we're on the an ocean map. Ooh, I now have musket men. Yay me. Let's rush to chemistry. Let us grab you and grab you. And hey, look, there's a barbarian right there. We're going to upgrade you to a musket man. Musket man and 1140 AD. How funny. All right. My science is, our, my science is still relatively low. What we're going to do is we're going to rush over. Here. There was a barb camp somewhere. All right, there. I'm going to send my musket men to go to this barb camp, knock it out. So, because if the barbarians spawn on a tile, like a coastal tile. My captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is won. Yeah. Uh, if they settle on a coastal tile, they can spawn boats. And let me tell you, having boats destroy all your trade routes is really obnoxious. <laughs> All right, so Orleans. Oh, wow. Okay, they got rid of all their science. I guess they must have settled the city or something. What am I going to do? Well, let's go back. Get rid of you. Now, I can have for every... uh. For every boat I have, it requires one iron. So it seems I can only have two iron. Or I can only have up to three boats currently. Which would make seafaring really obnoxious. I think it's time that uh, I prep for war. Because we're going at a rather slow rate here. Come on. Activate already, you bugger. Okay, so bank constabularies are great because they limit your uh, your enemy spies. Rush out the Alhambra. Great admiral appears for all great admiral to earn fifty plus four from your sea trade routes. What is? Ooh, I've met Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Oh, Sophia, let's get rid of this trade route or the barbarian. Now, I put five civilizations. Well, technically, I put four, so there's two more that I have to find. 
There's two more buggers somewhere around this map. I have something in my eyeball. Stupid eyelashes.